approaching the new diverging diamond interface interchange at uh, Ashford Dunwoody Road and Interstate 285 north of Atlanta. Um, I'm currently south of I-285 driving north on Ashford Dunwoody Road. You saw behind me the sign that warns motorists of the uh, new traffic pattern. This is the first diverging diamond uh, in Atlanta. Several more are planned. Uh, I don't really know how this first one is working out. It's only been open for a couple of days. Um, up ahead on my left is uh, one of the office parks and apartment buildings that's around here. And uh, dead ahead you can see the signs for Interstate 285. I'm going to be going uh, west on 285. Uh, which means I will be crossing over. Lake Hearn is an entrance to uh, an office complex. It's not really part of what we're doing. Uh, ahead on the right, you can see the ramp directly to 285 East, which is uh, which is a right turn and would not be uh, not be part of the diverging diamond. Um, were I a typical Atlanta driver, I would just simply pull into the intersection and not really care who I blocked. But uh, fortunately, I'm not. This is going to be the first time I've ever crossed deliberately onto the left side of a bridge, so it's uh, going to be pretty interesting. You can see up ahead, uh, just on the bridge itself, the southbound traffic on uh, Ashford Dunwoody Road, crossing over the bridge and stopping uh, so that the northbound traffic can pass. And you see the green lights for the arrows to go to the left, which we're doing. Um, to get directly onto I-285, um, you can see the arrows to merge back to the left, get onto 285 West. signals. Ordinarily, uh, before the diverging diamond was put in, that drive probably would have taken about five minutes to get from where I was just to the interface. And uh, as it was, it was just under three. 